What do we know? The amount of safety stock I need in my system gets bigger as my service level gets bigger. Where do you see that in the formula? If I want my service level to be 90% or 95% or 99% Z, right? It comes into the formula as Z. Okay? So the higher the service level, the more safety stock. It gets bigger when my demand is more variable. Where does that come into the formula? Standard deviation. Exactly. Right up here, right? What about the forecast error? Do you see the forecast error anywhere? You don't directly see it on there, but it's related to that standard deviation, right? It's the same thing, right? Delivery lead time. If I have a long lead time, my buffer is longer. Where do you see it? L, and it's in two places. Look at it. A basic amount here and some extra because of the uncertainty, right? And if lead time had been uncertain, there's a formula in the back that says you have to have an even bigger safety stock. So therefore, if I want to be able to hold less inventory and reduce those costs so I can use that money to meet other needs of the beneficiaries, I should work on shortening the lead times when I can, reducing variability or improving information accuracy. The other thing to keep in mind is what I said earlier about the lead times is lead times is the entire time from placing an order until receiving an order. It's not just the transportation time. So if you've got to go out there and get different quotes, then that also needs to be included in that lead time. Okay? All right. So let's look at some pictures. On the bottom is service level. On the left-hand side is just this part right here. Just this part of the, the safety stock. Just this part of the buffer. What do you see in the picture? Yes, yes, it increases. Moreover, it increases really fast over there on the, on the right-hand side, right? So here, this is 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%. Ninety percent, ninety-five percent, look how fast it's going up. It's because of that, that distribution, it's trying to get way over here on the tail. And it's harder and harder to capture the tail of that distribution. So if you want to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to be not out of stock, it gets more and more expensive as you, you have higher service level. Okay? So here's the next picture. This is the same thing. Again, it's just this part right here. But it's for two different lead times, 6 and 12. OK? Now, it's not this part. It's just this part. This says the buffer for uncertainty is bigger when my lead time is bigger. Right? This picture is the entire thing, this entire S including the, the basic amount to cover the lead time plus this buffer for uncertainty, okay? For two different lead times, lead time of six and lead time of 12. About twice as much inventory and a little extra over here on the right. Okay, so far? This is slide 70. It's just this right-hand part of the equation. Now, I've added variability in lead time to the red triangles. What do you see? This is the same lead time as the green squares, except that it's not perfectly predictable. To have the same service level, you have to have a whole lot more safety stock, right? You see it? To have a service level of 80%, you have to have a lot more stock to deal with the uncertainty in the lead time, uncertainty in the demand and uncertainty in the lead time. Are you with me? Yes. Now this is the part, all of this, so this and this together. My base amount of inventory is about twice as much because my lead time is twice as much, but then this extra to deal with variability adds on. Right? 
So what does this tell us again? Well, if we want to hold less inventory or improve our service level, we can also focus on things like lead time and predictability in the lead time. Thank you.